Northwest Oklahoma. We're going to be traveling up through Kansas and go west up to uh, northwest of Denver, Colorado to Estes Park in the Rocky Mountain National Park. <laughs> or something like that. Here it is, the tallest building in the whole state of Kansas. All right, guys, we made it to the Charger in Hayes, Kansas. Let me flip around and I'll show it to you. So it estimates we're gonna to need to charge for 15 minutes to make it to our next Charger, which is over here in Colby. We're gonna stop off here in Oakley and grab my grandparents. So we're gonna make some sandwiches, go in, go to the bathroom, and uh, we'll get back on the road. I got a serious question. Real dilemma. Does I-70 go in a circle? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we passed that same cornfield five or six times. I think we did. And that grain elevator up in the distance. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the same one or if they just all look the same, but check the map, please. I don't think this is an interstate. I think we've gotten off on the world's largest roundabout. <laughs> I don't know where to get off at. You only think you're funny. <laughs> Shut up, I'm hilarious. So we just made it to Supercharger in Lyman, Colorado. And it says here, supercharging unavailable. Add payment method to your Tesla account. Payment method required. We go to go on their website, everything is down. Uh, you can't call for mobile service. You can't uh, add a card to my account, which already has an account card on it. So Tesla's having some system-wide problem, so yeah, we're just stuck here waiting until they figure that out. So my future car embarrassed me in front of my grandpa. <laughs> we sat there for about an hour, not able to charge because Tesla's servers were down and their servers are where our credit card info is. So we just had to sit around and wait for them to fix a nationwide outage before we could leave Lyman, Colorado. <laughs> but it charged pretty quick once it started charging. <laughs> what do you think, Paul? Should we trade it in for something with a carburetor? <laughs> we could have stopped in Lyman and adjusted the points. <laughs> <laughs> Been on our way, right? Yeah. Well, a, a two hour charge feels good. <laughs> Ready? Buy an electric car, they said. Buy an electric car. It'll be fun, they said. It would be super fun. Yeah, you when you yeah. get stranded in Lyme, Colorado, you think it's a real awesome. Brand new car, can't even go anywhere with it. Yeah. <laughs>
Sophie, Sophie, look at this. Read this sign. End of world mark. This is the sign that marks the end of the world. No, it no, isn't. No, that's the end right there. No. That's all there is. Nope. You can't go past it. Nope, nope, nope. Tell the, tell the YouTube people where we are. We're at the end of the world, Mark. We're at the end of the world, Mark. <laughs> You don't know what town we're in? How are we going to get home? <laughs> I thought you were the navigator. No, you she are the navigator. She is the navigator. What? Man. You are the navigator, Dad. I don't think Dad is. You didn't know where we were going, clearly. I thought it took us a long time. That's why we wound up at the end of the world, Mark. <laughs> we're here at the historic Stanley Hotel, Estes, Colorado. I think it was built in 1909. And they have a really fun hedge maze out front, don't they, Sophie? Is this Mr. Stanley? Yeah. He sells his tools pretty cheap at Walmart. <laughs> but even the Jeep has a little better front axle than that one did. <laughs> here pretty much at the top of Rocky Mountain National Park. Let's flip this up. It says here we are 35 miles away from Wyoming. And just look at that view. Oh, it's a Subaru. I bet he thinks he can go off road. Did you get her picture? I know. What are y'all doing, Nana? We're having fun in the snow. <laughs> it's just September. You want me to explain this crap? Yeah. Hang on. This is a when it's scale. down here, it's generating electricity. When it's up here, it's hogging it. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as good of an explanation as you're going to get. <laughs> So we used a lot of electricity going up the mountain, but coming down the mountain, instead of using our brakes, our motors turned into generators, and we just stuff all that juice back in the battery. So it really doesn't use much electricity to go up and down a mountain. That's right. Diesel don't work that way. I never could get it to fill my tank back up. Yeah. <laughs> so we found another interesting spot. This here is Bear Lake, also in Rocky Mountain National Park. It's just a nice little lake down in a valley. Not very big. Sure is pretty. We're doing good, Mom. For a chicken. Yeah, Mom. Not bad for a chicken. For a chicken. <laughs> for a chicken. Not bad for a chicken. Oh, it's from the trees. Yeah. Sap. Sap? Yeah, it's poisonous. No, it's not. Yeah, get it off you quick. No, it's not. It's sure what it syrup's is. made out Smell of. Smell it. It's what syrup's made out of. <laughs> Lick it then. No! It should be delicious. You have to, you have to see and see it, so whatever. Whoa, Danger Ranger, that's a long way down. Let's pull it on. I gotta hold on to your hood. That way in case I fall, I'll have something to hang on to. It'll be you. <laughs> no, then you have me. Stop, Dad. Oh, you're trying to make sure I don't fall? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will you tell our YouTube viewers a little bit about this Moffat Tunnel? 
They started digging it in 1923. It took them till 1927. And according to this sign, it took them a 6.72 million bomb this year. And it made it take about eight hours less to get a train over the mountains. About 10 miles west of here would be the Continental Divide. And the train comes out over by the ski lift. And uh, it's downhill from there to the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> so this, uh, so we've got Denver that away, right? Denver's 60, 70 miles east of us. And that's everything that wants to go west out of Denver by rail is going to go through this, this tunnel. Is that right? Yes. So here's where we're staying tonight. A little place called Silverthorn. Beautiful little town with beautiful little mountains. We're in Silverthorn and tomorrow we're gonna be going way over here. We're gonna take our grandparents back to what do you call that town Oakley, Oakley. Mm -hmm. so like we're we're good to go ahead and travel we can make it to Lyman with 39 percent we can make it to Hayes with nine percent whoa we could push it all the way to Hayes that would be pretty cool That's I don't crazy. really want to go that far without stopping to pee <laughs> That's pretty far, though. That is pretty far. But, anyway, yeah. So that's the plan for tomorrow. We'll go drop our grandparents off and in go. Kansas and go back home to good and old Oklahoma. O Oakley is, like, right in here. That's where Oakley is. Can we go? Can we go? Well, you got somewhere to be? And then we'll be to back sleep home. in my bed at the hotel. Oh, fair enough. I think we can go. Go. Yeah. Well, Sophie, what town did we just leave? Um, Lyman. Lyman. What happened the last time we were in Lyman? Well, um, the, um, the Tesla company, it had problems and we had supercharging. We had free supercharging the rest of the day and when they said that um it didn't get it because their internet was running down and then we had to stay there like for two hours um trying to figure out how to supercharge our car <laughs> <laughs> yes last time we were in lime and on the way to estes park we could not supercharge and we were stuck there for an hour and a half because tesla servers were having problems but what happened today we got to charge, and Dad and Paul found a new friend. <laughs> Look at the yeah. windmills, Mom. So we just charged up and left today, yeah. and we're well on our way back to Oakley to drop off Nana and Paul, and we'll be home tonight. You got all their little bells. Have you ever heard the bells? Play the bells. Supercharger in Colby is awesome. They have anything you could ever want to eat at this truck stop. Plus, you got all these playgrounds. You got my grandma laughing at me, talking to myself. And Nikki, she's used to it. Yeah. <laughs> Cutie. Yeah, here he is, just, you know, being Brant. He's like, look, that's a pretty nice Tesla. <laughs> Looks just like ours. So we just left the Hayes, Kansas supercharger. And once again, we got caught up visiting with people and way overcharged. We're at 97%. We're gonna make it home with 25%. Hey, don't you go fast? I'm not going fast, I'm going 35. I'm on autopilot, baby. What, are we about to pass our ice cream spot? Yeah, go. Alright, I better get off of this video. See you later, YouTube people.
So we're finally back home, parked in the Just Ain't Care garage. Got her charging up the cheap way. Feels good to be doing this again. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you want to buy a Tesla, use my referral code and you get a thousand free supercharging miles and I get a thousand free supercharging miles. It's a good deal.